All right, hello everyone. I um, wanted to do a revive on our Ford Ranger pickup truck. Um, and as it's quite an old, fairly old truck, it's quite simple. It's actually very easy to see some of the internals of the engine. So I thought, while I'm doing a revive on it, I will take some parts off. We'll have a look inside and we can have, get a before and after shot and actually see what the revive does to the inside of the engine, see if it actually does clean a lot of the carbon away. So um, I've taken a few bits off and uh, let's have a look at what we got. So the first thing I've done is undone the EGR valve. Now what this does is recirculate some of the exhaust gases into the air intake to reduce the nitrogen oxide emissions. And the way it works, very simple on this one. So we got a vacuum on here from the engine. And I don't know if you can, hopefully if I hold that in the right light, you can see there's a valve inside there. If I hold it sort of there, you can sort of see it. If I, yeah, if I pop it there, you can see inside there's a valve just here. So this moves in and out and allows the exhaust gases to come through here, which in turn go down this thing, down this uh, pipe into the engine to be burnt off. Um, and you can see, I'll grab my light again, the edges, there's a little, they are a bit crusty. Um, around the edges there. There you go, you can see some of the carbon. I think I'll be able to just break that off there. You can see there's little bits inside. So um, that's that end. That end you can see as well. Actually, quite a good shot there. All the carbon build up around the outside. Uh, so that's one part that it's supposed to clean. And the other part is the turbo. So I've taken the turbo, I'm hoping, if I slide you down there, let's try the light, you can get a good shot, hopefully, inside the turbo. There we go. So that's inside the turbo uh, on the intake side. Um, and I've also got the outlet from the turbo. I've taken the intercooler hose off. If I move these out of the way. And you can see it's pretty, it's not too bad, it's pretty, it's kind of black inside there. Um, again, it's a bit oily as well, but as a whole it is quite clean. So this is the EGR side on the engine. You can see that there's actually a lot of carbon build up in there. If I can get a bit closer, there you go. Um, and likewise on this part of the pipe. Finding the best way to get the GoPro to see. There we go. So yeah, both of those pipes, you can see there's a fair amount of carbon build up in there. So it'd be really, really interesting to see just what difference it makes. Right, so I've moved the truck back to back of door because um, if you caught it, my other video, which I'll put up here, uh, you'll know this is very, very smoky stuff. Um, it's not harmful to the engine, um, but it is harmful to all the carbon because it apparently gets rid of it all, which obviously is what we're going to find out here. So if you want to know the process, um, look at, watch that video and uh, that, I kind of run through the whole process, what's involved in doing a revive. Um, so I won't go over all of that in this one, um, but I will do it and we'll see just how good it works. I gotta be honest, if you did see our previous video uh, on the Kia, it didn't make anywhere near that much smoke. Um, I mean, obviously this is a much older engine. Actually, I'll say it's much older, it's not. It's like three years older. So, um, yeah. Well, hopefully the extra smoke will, I don't know, maybe, it is, maybe that is all the carbon being broken down and burning off. 
Um, I know all the demonstrations we've had of the hydrogen cleaning ones. I'm not saying they don't work, because I think they do. Um, but they certainly didn't put out anywhere near that much smoke. So uh, I've just got to wait for five minutes, then I can do the last shot. And then uh, go for an Italian test drive. Uh, and then I'll come in Monday morning and um, pull it all apart. And we'll have a look, see how much carbon's gone. Good morning. It is... Thursday today and I was gonna do the after video on Monday um, we have just been so busy I just really have not had a chance um, the good thing is if you can see uh, that rather than just doing what it was 25 mile commute I'm done 112 miles so um, yeah the revivers definitely had a chance had the best chance it's going to get to show us any improvements so um i'll open up the bonnet take the uh, turbo pipe off take the egr valve off and we'll have a look and see what difference it's made all right so once again i am going to try and get the camera and my light down far enough so you can get a good look so uh, bear with me all this is off it seems a bit i'll move the camera there it seems a bit darker over here today right so the turbo actually does look a little bit cleaner. I'll do a try and do a side by side if I can work out how to do it on the computer. Ooh, it's gone wonky. Um, which would obviously be quite handy. And if we look in, so that was the inlet of the turbo, and the outlet. And this was a bit oily before, I think, if I remember. It does look like it does look a bit drier. And, Maybe even a bit cleaner. So I think I'm quite happy saying that the um, turbo side of it definitely has made a difference. Um, so the EGR valve, oh, you can still see there's there is some carbon on around that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether there's quite as much. And then on the other side, yeah, because we broke some off of this. So. Try and focus the camera a bit better. There we go. Yeah, I'd, I'd say some of the carbon's come off. Um, I mean, that doesn't really look much different. You can still see there's, if I can get the light, you can still see there's a fair amount of carbon around the inside of that. I'll sit there. Um, and likewise, up here in that pipe so i don't think it is much of a egr cleaner it's definitely more cleaning carbon from a turbo which i think it's safe to say it's done be interesting to try some products that are on the market so if you've got any suggestions put them in the comments below um don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can you know see any more videos like this and uh, i'll hopefully catch you next time